This video was made to introduce an exciting new initiative created by Life Spiral Virginia and the National Institute of Fitness and Sport. Vibrance is a holistic approach to wellness that draws together the myriad facets of a healthy and rewarding lifestyle. Through this program, Lakewood staff and residents will collaborate in inspiring and celebrating the positive life choices that make every day more dynamic. That means to me living life with joy and excitement about what is to come rather than dwelling on the past, keeping myself healthy. I feel very strongly, and this isn't my theory, it came to me from some nurse friends, that we are not just a physical body. We are, there are four parts to ourselves. There's our physical and our emotional and our mental and our spiritual parts. And if one of those is not doing well, it affects the other three as well. So for me to be vibrant is to take care of all four of those parts as best I can. I think of happy, I think of bright, I think of cheerful, but also it's more than that. It's also the way you go about doing things, the interest you might have, what might cause you to pursue something new and different to kind of keep you going. We don't want to always keep doing the same thing we've always done in some regards. And um, I just think it's being a part of things. And I think also a big part of it would be positive, happy attitude. Well, vibrant covers the, the, the whole spectrum of the human race, you know. It, 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 it's curiosity, it's learning, it's, it's uh, actively engaged in life. Uh, feeling good about things, uh, trying to understand who you are and how you fit in, how can you be a helper, what kind of help do you need? Purpose. We encourage residents to live with intention, embracing the freedom to make choices that reflect their uniquely varied passions. I'm a Christian, so my purpose in life is to serve God in whatever ways God opens doors to me, and that means day by day. Not the big things, although God has opened some wonderful doors in my past, but it's in the little ways 
that somebody needs a, an encouraging word, and you can pick that up from not only from hearing, but also from noticing a demeanor of the person you're talking with. Uh, but my whole purpose is to serve in whatever way I can serve. The greatest thing that I do is a continuation of having been a pastor's wife. I do a lot of visiting in the health care. I try uh, to be very friendly and help anybody who needs help. Uh, that is with information or if they come up and want to know about the Rose Building, uh, I try to uh, take them around, invite them to come into my room. Uh, as a rule, I'm a pretty outgoing uh, person, but the main thing I do is uh, helping with the worship service in health care and visiting. Not only friends, but if you tell me, hey, my friend was brought in, would you stop by and see her or him? Yes, I'd be glad to. I'm committed to lifelong learning, and I think this program, the Vibrance program, is a, another version of this for me, another way for me to invest myself here in this community and all the stuff going on to keep on growing uh, in mind, spirit, uh, body, and spirit. And I've been on a, a lifelong search for uh, spiritual enlightenment, uh, physical health, uh, understanding the universe, uh, growing as a, as a person in every way I can. It's been a a way of life for me. So far, I have been enriched in every way. Joy. When your home and basic needs are cared for, you're free to pursue experiences that bring you deeper contentment and satisfaction. We aim to ensure residents the peace of mind that allows them to create joy through service-oriented and recreational pursuits of their choosing. My joy comes from my faith. And it sets the tone for so much of what I do and who I am. And out of that has come, for lack of a better word, a positive attitude. I mean, we all have things that strike us that pull us down a bit, but it's in how you react to that that's the key. Through the years, I've learned that the more positive I can be, and, the, and if I can look ahead and not dwell necessarily on today, I think that's a key as well. I think everybody needs to have some fun time. My play time is two hours a week over in the um, art room where we paint. Uh, none of us are perfect artists. A lot, several are much better than I am, but it's not for the product, it's for the fun of, of being able to do something where you leave the world behind you. So that's one of the ways. And then I think, too, that you need to think about what you can do to help somebody else every day. You need to do something fun, something you ought to do as well, and then something to help somebody else. I've been in search of joy all my life. Uh, I'm a, uh, a type A male, and joy is something that wasn't a natural thing that happened around my house. So I've always been on the lookout for it and um, looking for ways in which I could enrich that. And uh, it happens here. There are a lot of things that are very, very joyful. And uh, the fact that you've got the spiritual element, you can go to a church service here, uh, you, you're helped to get to your own church service wherever you want to go. Uh, the physical piece of it is here through the gym and Miles' program. 
the mind is busy all the time. I go to a current events group once a week, and uh, it's a pretty rousing discussion about stuff right now. And some of it's pretty sensitive, and you want to be careful not to cross too many bad lines, but uh, we do talk about it. And uh, my mind is more active now than it's been in a long time. I feel as joyful and content with my life as ever I have felt before. And so um, I'm content to be where I am and to look for what today holds and what tomorrow holds and whatever time I have after that. Growth. We urge residents to continue to learn and discover new pastimes that they find enriching, either spiritually, physically, or mentally. Well, I think that Lakewood is a great learning environment and learning to contribute to the community, learning to face the changing health issues that all of us go through with the passing of time. When Miles first came here and pulled out his questionnaire, I told him that I had recently been diagnosed with Parkinson's. He went to work at home and here in his company to figure out what kind of a program he could put me on that would address the Parkinson's symptom. I'm determined to not let the Parkinson's get the best of me. Is best I can, and the way to slow the growth down, I've been told, the progression of the disease, is to, quote, keep moving. And with Miles, I keep moving. I had a bad fall, and I ended up in, um, you know, treatment, care center, and so forth and so on. And I was so uh, enamored with how, of uh, the progress I was making in, in the therapy, that I'm going, you know what? <laughs> You need to be adding some things on a regular basis. It's grown since I've been at Lakewood because of the, all the facilities here that lend to that kind of thing. I've just loved everything about Lakewood. My health has continued um, to be good, and you know I have been involved in things, and as I'm involved in things mentally, I feel like uh, there's growth. I'm very. Uh, close to the chaplains and uh, sometimes can help them. But if you've got a job that needs done, menial task and so on, I'm glad to help with those. And not only in helping, but I do learn things uh, through that. I tried things like meditation, yoga, sensitivity training, uh, acupuncture, um, mind-body stuff. I've done, I've been to some, some of the wildest seminars on personal growth you can imagine. All were a good step, but not the final step. So find yourself a package of next steps to find your path to the future. So finding a way to learn the ropes, find out what the name of the game is, learn what the next step is, that's part of my growth pattern. Uh, what I would like to get out of um, my remaining years is further growth. I would like somebody to say uh, the, the day after he's gone, he was still taking a course in something last week and learning something from it. Community. We hope to foster an environment in which individual strengths contribute positively to both Lakewood and its connection to the greater community. I think community here is uh, 
very effective. We have all kinds of activities here. You never need to be bored unless you choose to be bored. The people in my building become my small community. I care about them. I know them pretty well. We do things together, small parties and get-togethers. Uh, I find it a very wonderful place to have social contact, and that's very important for aging adults, I think. We have been very happy with the involvement we have exercise and the things that interest us. The best example I can give is that I live in a villa, and there's 10 apartments there, and the group of people that live there we, we, we have become good friends with, and it's amazing to me the way they support each other and us, whatever is happening in our lives, whatever we allow to let people know about our lives. They're supportive, they're loving, and it's amazing how close the community is in our villa. It's also the same in the exercise room. There's a group of people that exercise on a regular basis. They, we all get to know each other and call each other by name and encourage each other and when you're feeling good, when you're feeling bad. It's, it's an amazing community in the exercise room. You can be involved in community in many ways. A simple one is go to lunch and meet a lot of people there in the dining room. You can do that at supper too. But there are a lot of classes going on. Uh, there are a lot of discussion groups. Uh, you can pursue whatever you want. And um, there's a gym, and I met a lot of people there, and it's now a, hey, how are you today, as you want somebody pedaling the, the, the stationary bike. Um, I think this place is very friendly. I've brought some people over for lunch, and they're not here five minutes before they say, everybody smiles. Life is about finding your center, grounding yourself, balancing all of the things that are going on in your life, and prevailing over it. Getting up the next morning and saying, I can do it, and I can do it better today than I did yesterday, even though yesterday wasn't all that successful. When I, when I look back, I, I wish I had known a lot of what I know now back then, and that's what I try to help other people understand. Here are some things that are keys to um, a more perfect existence, feeling better about yourself, how to grow as a person, how to enrich your own life as you row your way through it. And I have learned a long time ago that perfect is not a word that works very well for an adult human being. Uh, make it up as you go along. Have fun while you're doing it. Uh, keep at it. Uh, the secret to life is showing up every day as one of the comedians said years ago, and uh, I believe that.